How do I only have 60 gigabytes free? What? 468 gigabytes of video? How? Hey everyone, it's Mike from Big Bite. And if you use DaVinci Resolve, well, that might be you. One of the first things that I do when I start editing a project is generate optimized media. I do this for my experience. It gives me a much smoother editing process whenever I'm looking at the video playback. After you start adding color correction and fusion effects, uh, it can kind of slow down the playback and generating that optimized media really does help smooth it out. But a real nasty side effect is, well, it fills up your hard drive rather quickly. Typically a few gigs per project that you would do if you're doing something like 10 minute videos or less. If you're doing larger projects, your folder size will be much larger. Now while you can open a project in DaVinci Resolve and clear out either all of your cached clips or all unused cached clips, if you're like me, uh, you may not want to be doing that at the project level and you may just want to be clearing everything out. Now I will say, do not worry about clearing out anything because if you do launch an older project and you go to generate the optimized media for smoother playback or go to render your project, DaVinci Resolve will create all the files that you need so you do not have anything to worry about. So first I'm going to show you in Windows how I was able to find out that this folder and this process in DaVinci Resolve was creating my storage issue. And then I'm gonna show you how to easily clear it out. So as you can see, my local disk C, uh, I'm running out of hard drive space quite a bit. And so what I did to figure out what was causing my issue is come up to start and select settings, select system, and then storage. This will go ahead and calculate how your storage is used and how you could free up space. So as you can see from my results, well, I have 468 gigabytes of videos. If I go ahead and select this, it will take me to the videos folder. So what's kind of frustrating about this is you don't really see the size of any folders. However, if you do, hover your mouse over it, it will give you when that folder was created and the folder size. Now I will say it looks like it only does this up to a certain limit. So you can see gallery.gallery .gallery is 2.62 kilobytes. That's not the problem. This is an empty folder and well, that's 175 megabytes. And if I look at this cache clip folder, it doesn't even give me the size. However, if all the other folders are tiny, this one must be it. So if I open this up and expand the name, you're gonna see, well, there's a ton of different serial numbers with a whole bunch of different folders. Some are very small, and then I see this one, that's four gigs, that's four gigs, that's seven gigs, and so this is definitely the folder that is creating issues. So the cool way in how to clear out everything is I could just, well, open this folder, select everything and just simply delete it. This is a much faster way than clearing things through DaVinci Resolve. The difference is it will take, well, 20 plus minutes potentially to clear using DaVinci Resolve's interface, especially if you're going project by project, where if you just do this at the folder level, well, depending on your hard drive speeds and how much data you're looking to clear, it will take seconds to single digit minutes typically. So now, if I look at my local drive C, you can see I've cleared out over 400 gigabytes. It's like 470 something gigabytes total. Man, that's a lot of space.